Lab talk, lab talk, lab talk. I know. We not in the crib. I kind of just wanted to be outside to keep it 100. I love it outside. Spring and fall are my favorite seasons. And it's spring now. So you may be seeing me shoot a little bit out here. And I'm with that. I love it. I hope you guys do too. So I took a week off. And I just wanted to let you guys know we'll be getting back to the regular scheduled program <clears throat> this week. I just dropped um, a part of the interview last night, and I'm dropping another segment of the interview today. Um, so just had some personal stuff I needed to take care of, had to let pass. And now we back. So I'll be releasing more content. So this episode, aside from, you know, public service announcement, I want to talk about this Derek John situation because I've always found him as an individual to be interesting. Um, I've always found his followers to be interesting. I um, I came into a knowledge of who he was maybe about, I want to say, five or six years ago. It was, he was actually, a, he was a video that was sent to me. Um, by a friend of mine who was saying how he was just like really stand up Christian guy and really principled and you know family dude and kind of like a, a role model somebody that um, you know you should kind of model you you know model yourself and other black men should model themselves after and I checked out some of his content and I felt that a lot of it was factual in regard to um, to what he was saying. But one thing that I didn't necessarily enjoy was him kind of speaking down about people that didn't live the way that he did. Um, and the reason why I had an issue with that is because we're all in different kind of places in life. We're all in different parts of our journey. And, you know, people go through shit. People make mistakes. People make bad decisions, especially in emotional, you know, when they're in like emotional highs and you know, when love and relationships and wives and husbands and shit like that are involved, people make mistakes. And I think judging people when they're at their most vulnerable is a tough thing to do. And I think what it also does is it puts him in a position to where now he has to stand on everything that he spoke on, everything. And as Malcolm X said once, the chickens came home to roost. And now Derek John is under a bunch of scrutiny for some things that happened, I guess, um, in his marriage, outside of his marriage, et cetera, et cetera. Some women coming forward saying that they had some relations with them, um, putting out receipts that they've been in his home, et cetera, et cetera. And he just put out some response video, um, kind of trying to explain everything. And I think that that puts, I think that his entire career, what he's been doing on YouTube, I don't know what he does personally, but what he does on YouTube, I think just put him in a tough position because if you speak so, <sighs> just so candidly about your beliefs and you speak so candidly about um, how you feel other people should live and you judge other people for how they live and you call them names and do things like that it kind of leaves you in a, in a in a box in a cage where you don't have any room to make any mistakes yourself and so I guess the moral of the story here is have empathy for people people fuck up people make bad choices people make choices that they probably will regret one day the choices that they love to get back I know that I have I am not by any means a perfect individual will never claim to be um, I'm going through this process like everybody else. And so I'll say this, man, my prayers go out to him and his family. I hope they're able to work things out, figure out what their situation is. And, um, I hope that it's a lesson to him and anybody else. Like if you are really going to have such stark opinions that you put out there and you juxtapose them to everybody else that's not doing what you're doing, understand you have no room the back step at all you have no room to make mistakes you have no room to act out of emotion you have no room to be an imperfect human being which is what we all are so that's lab talk i'll be back with you guys later this week peace
Got a click full of shooters. Mm-hmm. 